There are many different types of telescopes astronomers use to study space. There are radio telescopes, X-ray telescopes, infrared telescopes, gamma ray telescopes, and ultraviolet telescopes. In 1608, Hans Liberty, a German Dutch lens maker, once said that he wanted to make an instrument for seeing things far away as they were nearby. He was the first person to ever think of the telescope. On hearing about this new instrument, Italian physicist Galileo Galilei built his own. He improved Lippershey's design and using his new telescope the following year. He discovers the four largest moons of Jupiter, Io, Ganymede, Callisteo, and Europa. Sunspots on the surface of the sun, the faces of Venus, and physical features on the moon, such as craters. Italian priest and astronomer Niccolo Zucci creates a concave spherical mirror, a mirror that bulges inwards, very much like a cave, to magnify objects, and he used it to discover Jupiter's belts 14 years later. German priest and astronomer Christoph Scheiner builds a telescope based on a design that astronomer Johannes Kalper made in 1611. Kalper's design improves on Galileo's by replacing the concave lens with a convex lens, a lens that bulges outwards. This helped to produce the spherical aberration. Astronomers find spherical aberration quite annoying as it means that they do not get perfect images when they look through their telescopes. Image having distorted vision. Inspired by the observations of Jupiter made by Galileo, Dutch and astronomer Christian Halogenes builds the most powerful telescope ever and uses it to view the planets in our solar system. He spotted a bright moon in orbit around Saturn and called it Saturnina Luna. All astronomers used this name until 1847 when John Hestral, famous astronomer, uh, William Herschel's son, decided that the moon should be called Titan. Hygienes studied Saturn much more with his telescope and discovered the true shape of the planet of the planet's rings in 1659. After studying the reflection of light through prisms, Sir Isaac Newton decides that the problem of chromatic apparition cannot be solved. He makes an improved version of the reflecting telescope. Lauren Cassegrain, a Catholic priest from France, develops a telescope that bears his name, the Cassegrain Telescope. This instrument uses mirrors that are called hyperbolic and parabolic mirrors. English mathematician and inventor of 
the octane, John Hadley present a much improved Newton telescope design. A huge development in refracting telescope happens during this time when lawyer Chester Moore Hall makes lens to reduce chromatic aberration even further. He made the lens by cementing two types of glass, crown and flint, together. He proved that Newton's statement that chromatic aberration could not be solved was incorrect. Bath, UK, which stands for United Kingdom, orchestra director and astronomer William Herschel builds a Newton Man based reflector telescope, which is a gigatonic 12 metres. It was the first of the giant reflector telescopes. Leviathan of Parsontown at Burr Castle in Ireland was built in this year by the third Earl of Rose, William Parsons. It was the largest telescope ever built until the 20th century. Parsons was the first person to see spiral arms on a galaxy. American astronomer Alvin Clark builds the world's largest, at the time, existing refracting telescopes, the Yerkes Telescope in Wisconsin, because this telescope holds the largest glass lens possible before a telescope will begin to buckle under its own weight. Astronomers decide that large telescopes should have mirrors instead of lenses. Inspired by sky survey work by Carl Jansky, American engineer Grote Ribber takes the telescope into a whole new dimension. The radio telescope Reber created in an instrument that can basically see radio waves. Waves that are invisible to our eyes. An astronomer, Sir Bernard Lovell, planned a 250 feet radio telescope that could be pointed to anywhere in the sky in the 1950s. After a series of technical and financial problems, it was finally built and ready to be used in the summer of 1957. The telescope can be visited at Joral Bank in the UK or United Kingdom.